Hello everyone. I want to show you how to do this uh, tutorial on this little butterfly charm, but of course the one that I'm going to show you is going to be much bigger than this because these are little Delica beads and they're real tiny and people have asked me how do you pick up them beads? Well, it's just practice over the years. It's nothing that anybody couldn't do. So I wanted to show you in a larger scale how it, the process is. So I'm going to use perler beads. Now perler beads are all uniform and they mimic delica beads the same way except for they're like 10 times bigger. So there I have blue and I have red. So I want to show you also something else that perler beads are not just only for melting. I mean, there's a lot of designs that you can make and I made this, oh my gosh, I can't tell you how long ago, but this is a beaded butterfly, uh, beaded star that I did in perler beads. So like I said, they don't have to be melted. You can use them for bigger designs. Um, I do have smaller stars. If I can find them, I'll show you what they look like. And the same thing, they are just much smaller like this. So, all right. So here's what you're going to do. We're going to do, I'm going to do this first row, which is... Um, they're silver line gold. So it says one, two, three, four silver line gold, one blue, and four silver line gold. So I have um, fishing line. It is a 15 pound test. I've had this for many years. It's, oh, sorry about that, but I've had it for many, many, many years, and I've not used that much of it or quite a bit of it. So here we go. So it says I need four. So let's put four out there, one red and four. Now you can load anyway. Um, this is just for a tutorial. That's all I'm doing this for. I don't normally load my beads like that. So you're gonna pick up two beads. Now this is a brick stitch and that means two beads are laying side by side. So here you go. Here's my two beads. I'm going to go through both of them and give it a pull. And I'm going to leave me a tail down here. Oh, a good six inch, eight inch tail. And I'm going to go up through the very first bead that I did, that I added. And give it a pull. Now we want these beads to stay side by side. So I'm going to go back down into the second bead. And to save my shoulders, I'm going to go back up into that first bead. And give it a pull. And it straightens it up, keeps it nice and tight. So we're going to add our third bead, which is a blue bead. We're going to go up through the second bead. Turn around and give it a pull and let it lay side by side. And I'm going to reinforce it by going through this bead and back up into that second bead and give it a pull. Now, like I said, I'm using two arm pulls, so it's quite a bit of um, fishing line that I'm pulling through. I always like to work from the top, so my be my thread is coming out at the top. I don't know if you can see it right there, it's crystal clear. So I'll pick up my fourth bead, and I'm going to lay it right beside it. Give it a pull, and I'm going to reinforce it by going through that same bead that third bead and give it a pull. So 
and that will happen because fishing line does get tangled but nothing you can't work out okay so now we're going to go back down in there because I want to work from the top side so we got that there so now we got our four the center bead is a red one so we're going to pick up our red we're going to go through underneath pull up give it a pull I'm going to go back down in here, the red bead, and I'm going to go back up in here to reinforce it and give it a pull. And I'm going to go down into the red bead. Now that's our center bead there. We're going to mimic the other side. We're going to mirror it. So I got four blue over here. We're going to put four blue over here. Here's a blue. We're going to go underneath, go up, give it a pull. Sorry, went out of frame. Mm -hmm. We're going to reinforce it by going through the blue and come up through that red. And we're going to go back down into the blue to reinforce it. Okay. That's one. I'm going to put the second blue on there. I'm going to go into this one. And we'll come up this one to reinforce it. Give it a pull and go back down into this one. Okay. Pick up the third one. Now every now and then you will have to drop a bead and let it spin a little bit to untangle. So I'm going to go up through the, the second blue bead, give it a pull, go down this bead. Now when we get to the second row we won't be doing the reinforcing because it's pretty much um, together solid with this line here so it'll get easier. I got trapped on my chair there. Sorry about that. So we'll give it a pull and put our last bead on there. Let me turn it. Oh wait, did I reinforce it? All right, put our last bead on there. Go up from the bottom. Go all the way around. It's hard to do a tutorial when you're pulling thread. So I'm going to go ahead and do two to tighten it up. All right, so we got our base done and that's what it looks like, just like that. So let's take a look at our design and it's one gold three blue, two golds, three blues, and one gold. So it'd be one, three reds, two blues, three reds, and one blue. So that's what our design is. Let me straighten my fishing line up. All right, let's carry on. So when you do brick stitch on a second row and you're increasing, 
you're always going to pick up two beads your outline bead and your color bead or if it's the same color okay and we're going to increase on this line but I need it to go out so what you're going to do is go through this very first thread bridge and I don't know can you see the threads in between the beads there you're going to go underneath of it like that and give it a pull and it's going to lay down something like that it's going to go up through the red bead give it a pull I'm trying to stay in frame as I'm pulling this guy sorry <clears throat> stuff in there there we go so it's going to land just like this so as you can see it went out that's just what I wanted it to do and we're going to pick up the next bead which is a red bead because remember it said three our pattern was three we're going to go under the thread bridge like that a pull and we're going to go back up into that red to straighten it up so there you go pick up our third red bead the next thread bridge right there we're going to go under it and pull straighten up what you can it will work its way up okay go back up into that red bead give it a pull looks like that the next one is two blues so we're going to go under the next thread bridge with the blue like that give it a pull it sits down nice and easy go up into the blue looks like that now now pick up another blue go underneath the next thread bridge like that and pull pick up pins and everything else along the way and believe me when you're using thread it does the same thing so it doesn't uh, just because you're using fishing line doesn't it will do the same thing all right so this is when I have to straighten out my line and all I do is lay it down and pull one side and let it untwirl on its own the reason why it's getting tangled is because it is twirled so here we go And it looks like I caught myself right here. So there you go. Okay, let me undo that and I'll be right back. Okay, let's try this again. I don't know what happened, but something did. So we're going to go underneath that we're going to push through and give it a pull it's 
going to lay side by side. We're going to go up through that blue bead and pull. You can get your thread or whatever trapped underneath the bead under on this side if you're not careful. Just be mindful of that. All right, so this is our halfway point, these five beads right here. So that was one, so we're going to do our three red. Go under the thread bridge. Go up through that red bead to set it side by side with the other one. And get next red bead, go underneath the thread bridge, do the same thing, give it a pull, go up through, whoops, go up through that red, give it a pull, Need one more red, so we're gonna go under here, under the thread bridge, pick up and pull through. Now here on the end, we have no uh, thread bridge to go through, so we have to use a thread bridge here, right here. So I'm gonna pick up my blue. And where I went under the thread bridge with the red, I'm going to do the same thing. So it's going to split it like that, pull through, go up through that blue, and give it a pull. Now what's that going to do? Let's see if I can put this one down in there so it will straighten it up there so as you can see it went out just like it did over here and we're going to do that two more times we're going to go increase this is a increase 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 so there's three increases so we're going to do that two more times i'll get it started with you on the end and then do your uh, going underneath the thread bridge with the next color combination, which is four reds, just like that. So it's one outline, color beads, four, one center bead, four and one center B. So I'm going to show you how to do the outside where we increase one more time and then I'm going to let you put these beads on and then we'll be back. So outline, next bead and we're increasing so it's got to go out a little bit so we're going to go into the very first one and pull through. The blue bead needs to be on the outside. So pull it down and go up through the red bead. And see how it caught underneath this right here? So make sure it doesn't do that because believe me, you'll see it in your pattern later. So there you go. I increased, it went out. So all you have to do now is put your other three colors on, go underneath the thread bridge, pull through,
and go up through that same bead to anchor it down. Make sure all your threads are on the other side. Give it a pull and lay it flat like that. There you go. So go ahead and do all of these and I'll get come back when it's right there on your last bead. Okay, I put my last red bead on and I need it to increase just like this one. So we're going to pick up our blue and we're going to go underneath the same bread, uh, thread print, blah, blah, blah. same thread bridge as this one did, which all you have to do is go underneath of it. It will protrude a little bit right there where you can see it. Go underneath that. Give it a pull. Lay it side by side and make sure that you uh, snap it underneath there and go back up through that. And give it a pull. And that's what it looks like. All right. So I'll show you this one more time because I think that's. So the next one is. We are on row four. So one, two, three. Row four is one out. So it's an increase. Four purple ones two gold, four purple, and one increase. So we have one, four, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and two in the center. Is that right? So let's make sure we have it. So we have one and four, two, four, and one. One, four, two, four, one. And that's our, what we're going to do this row. So here again, we're going to have to increase. So we got our blue outline, red or butterfly color. We're going to go through that first thread bridge right there and give it a pull making sure our blue is on the outside we're going to go up through the red and give it a pull so there you it has increased out now. So we're going to do the same lineup that we laid out here. So go ahead and do that, and I will come back when we get down to the last two beads. Okay, we're down here on our last bead. We need an increase, so we're going to go underneath this thread bridge of the last red bead, pull it through. Go up through and give it a pull. And that's what it looks like so far. So now we're going to do a decrease. And we're going to have two rows of a decrease. So as you can see, we're on this row right here. And we're going to do one gold, three purple, one gold. That is all we're going to do across here. All right. So it's one blue, three reds, and one blue. So now on a decrease... You probably already understand what I'm doing here. So when you do a decrease, if you was to jump over 
into this one, you're going to increase it. But we want to decrease it. So we need to be right here. So the best way of doing that is to just go under the thread bridge without any beads on it and give it a pull. So now you're sitting right here in the center of the bead. So a decrease, we're going to still pick up our two beads, our outline bead and our uh, butterfly bead. We're going to skip this one and we're going to go into the next thread bridge right there. You're going to go through that. And we're going to go right back up under the red bead. And you're going to pull this direction. So when you pull it that direction, it pulls in. So our pattern is two more red. So we're going to go underneath the thread bridge, give it a pull, go up through the bottom of the bead. Give it a pull, straighten it up. There you go. Every now and then you have to put your bead on there and just drop it and let it um, spiral back out. It'll keep them from um, tangling up. So we're going to go underneath this one. Give it a pull. Go up through the bottom. This is going to be a decrease too. We won't continue on this way. We're going to stop right here. And now the good thing about this pattern is I created it where all four sides are the same. So once we do one, you can get the ideal of the other three sides. So we're going to do a decrease again. So the decrease again will be one outside, two in butterfly colors, and one outside. So we're going to pick up the outside and the color of the butterfly. Oh wait. We have to get to the center here, go through there, and pull, and pull up. Now the outside and the butterfly. We're going to skip this one and we're going to go into that next one, and pull. Go up under the bottom, give it a pull, straighten it up, it looks like that. So we're going to do the red, the butterfly collar, go underneath there, give it a pull, and up. We're on our last blue, so we're going to go there, under the thread bridge, give it a pull, and go up. Straighten it all up. Like I said, every now and then you go straighten out your line. So drop it down and do a um, detangling. So there you go. So the very last one now is one, two, three gold. So all that means is we're going to put three blue on the top. Okay, I'm over here. It looks like that. So I'm going to pick up. Oh, I got to go through here first. Line it up. Pick up two. Skip the very first thread bridge. Go through the second one. And give it a pull. Go through, line it up, 
Now sometimes you do have to go back and go down through that first bead or perler bead and go back up to straighten it up. And I'm struggling. To make it line up like that. Okay, and I think I got some twisting, so I'm going to undo that. Pick up my last one. Go through the thread bridge. Go through that. Go back up. Just like that. So there is half, I mean one portion of your butterfly. So this design is going to be repeated here and here and here. So to get over here we need to come work our way back down here where we're going to be coming out of that bead right there. So I'm going to go through this bead I want to stay close to the edge because that's where I'm going to be coming out of. We're going to go through that red bead. This red bead. That was pretty fast, wasn't it? And as you can see, how I twisted it up. I did not get it right. So let's go through this. And that happens. Okay, I'm going to go down through this red bead. Go through that. I'm going to go up through this bead. It really doesn't matter how you get there, as long as you end up in the same place. Now the decrease is going to be right here on this one. So what I'm going to do is go through this thread bridge. Go down through this bead. And go up through this blue bead. Okay, so there. Alright, I got it twisted a little bit, so I'm going to drop it and let it detangle. <clears throat> Alright. Now we need to go around this one because we're going to be decreasing. So as you remember, it was one outside, three butterfly colors, and one outside. So we're going to pick up the outside and the butterfly color. Pick up those two. We're going to skip that one, and we're going to go through the second one and give it a pull. Straighten it up. And you will need from time to time to help straighten a bead up. And that's only go back through it again and give it a pull and straighten it up. It looks just like that. Okay. So we have another red bead. Go from the bottom up. We're on our last blue, so we're going to go there under the thread bridge, give it a pull, and go up. Straighten it all up. Like I said, every now and then you got to straighten out your line, so drop it down. 
and do a um, detangling. There you go. So the very last one now is one, two, three gold. So all that means is we're going to put three blue on the top. Okay, I'm over here. So it looks like that. So I'm going to pick up. Oh, I got to go through here first. Line it up. Pick up two. Skip the very first thread bridge. Go through the second one. And give it a pull. Go through. Line it up. Now, sometimes you do have to go back and go down through that first bead or perler bead and go back up. straighten it up and I'm struggling to make it line up like that okay I think I got some twisting so I'm gonna undo that pick up my last one go through the thread bridge go through that go back up just like that so there is half I mean one portion of your butterfly so this design is going to be repeated here and here and here so to get over here we need to come work our way back down here where we're going to be coming out of that bead right there so I'm going to go through this bead I want to stay close to the edge because that's where I'm going to be coming out of. We're going to go through that red bead. This red bead. That was pretty fast, wasn't it? And as you can see, how I twisted it up, I did not get it right. So let's go through this. And that happens. Okay, I'm going to go down through this red bead. Go through that. I'm going to go up through this bead. It really doesn't matter how you get there as long as you end up in the same place. Now the decrease is going to be right here on this one. So what I'm going to do is go through this thread bridge. Go down through this bead. And go up through this blue bead. Okay, so there. Alright, I got it twisted a little bit, so I'm going to drop it and let it detangle. <clears throat> Alright. Now we need to go around this one because we're going to be decreasing. So as you remember, it was one outside, three butterfly colors, and one outside. So we're going to pick up the outside and the butterfly color. Pick up those two. We're going to skip that one, and we're going to go through the second one and give it a pull.
straighten it up. And you will need from time to time to help straighten a bead up and that's only go back through it again and give it a pull and straighten it up. It looks just like that. Okay, so we have another red bead. Go from the bottom up. Another red bead. Bottom up. And we have a blue bead. Go through the last thread bridge. Pull through. Bottom up. give it a pull. Okay, we're going to turn our work. As you can see, this one here is one blue, two red, and one blue. One blue, two red, one blue. That's our lineup. Untangle it. Remember, we got to get to the center on a decrease. You go through the next uh, thread bridge and get in the center of those two beads. Okay? So we're going to do the blue and the red. We're going to go through this thread bridge right here. And... As you can see, it needs some help because it's not standing by itself. So we're going to go back up, go over into that bead, straighten it up, pull down, and go back up in the one that we just came out of. Give it a pull, push it down. There you go. Let's put one more red. Give it a pull. Go back up into that red. Give it a pull. Straighten it up. Our last one is a blue. Go through that. Give it a pull. Straighten everything up. Go up into that blue. Give it a pull. Okay, turn our work. Now our last one here, as you can see, is only three blue beads. Let's put our three blue beads up there. We need to go here under this thread bridge to get to the center. And I can straighten it up. Okay. We'll pick up two of the blues, go through the center there, because it's a decrease row. Go up through there, give it a pull, and put the last one on. And go underneath the thread bridge if I can get through it. There you go. Go underneath there. Give it a pull. And go up underneath of it. Okay, you have half of a butterfly done now. So now we need, we're right here. We need to weave all the way down here till we get we need to come out this bead so weave any way you know how to get down to it and all i'm going to do is go through this bead pull down go through the next bead pull down 
Just keep doing that until you get down there to where you need to be. Okay. And I probably should have reinforced that, but I didn't. You can turn your work if it's easier for you to um, go up or down. So therefore, I'm just going to keep going until I get to that. Now, when you get down here where we're in um, decreasing, you can skip right on over into that bead and just go down like that. A little cheat. Give it a pull. And we're going to work the same process here on the top. So I'm going to do this first row with you. And I think you probably understand it by now. But I will let this undo, tangle. So as you can see, the first one is an increase, three reds, two blues, three reds, and an increase. So it's a blue, three reds, no, a blue, three reds, two blues, three reds, and a blue. That's our lineup for this row. So, it's okay that I'm coming out of the center of that bead because this is the increase row. So, we're going to pick up our blue, we're going to pick up our red, and we're going to go in that very first thread path. Give it a pull. Straighten them up. Go underneath. If you wish to do another straighten them up, you can. I will reinforce mine more at the end so I don't waste my not uh, my fishing line. So now we have a red. Go through underneath the thread bridge. Give it a pull and go up. Another red. Give it a pull, go up underneath the bead, and pull again. So now it should be two blues. So go underneath the thread bridge. There you go. Give it a pull. And go up underneath of it. Another blue. Go underneath the thread bridge. Give it a pull. Straighten it up by going underneath of it. Three reds. There you go. There's one. Go underneath of it. Here's two. I gotta straighten my thread up. Lay that down. Three came out of that. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna lay that down. We're going underneath this thread bridge. Go underneath of it, give it a pull. Grab a hold of pins and everything else. Go up. 
one more red. Go underneath there. Give it a pull. Go up. And a blue. And since we don't have a thread bridge down there, we have to use the one we used already. Give it a pull. Lay it on the side. Snap it in between there. And go up in there. Alright. So, I have showed you how to do the increase and the decrease. So now I think that you can continue the rest of this. All you have to do is follow this row, uh, this row here. Because that's this row. Follow these three, four rows, five rows. One, two, three, four, five rows. And I think you got it. I'm going to finish mine and I'm going to come back and show you just exactly what it looks like. Alright, I'll be right back. So here you go. It is completed. It is the same thing as this one. And look how much smaller. So I hope, not that you have to complete this project, but to show you that if you wanted to learn how to do a brick stitch, you can use these beads because they're much bigger than trying to learn with the little tiny ones. If you do a couple projects in the big one, then these little simple ones will be easy for you to pick up and do. So I hope you like this tutorial. Um, maybe give it a try. And let me see your beadwork that you do. I know it's catching on now. All right. Thank you.